Hello friends, today we are going to learn about assumptions made in Macaulay's method of double integration of beam. Now, for using Macaulay's method, we have to use certain limit and which is as per the assumption as the first assumption is Always take or select a origin of the section at extreme left of the beam. It means that if we have given a cantilever beam or a simply supported beam which is overhang at the some distance then for the selection of section we have to take a origin at extreme left. It means that cantilever beam our fixed support must be a origin while for the overhang beam these hinge support is taken as a origin or we can say that the left hand side starting of the beam must be taken as a origin but for the cantilever beam if we select a extreme right as a origin then it is easy in the calculation so we can select either left or right according to our requirement now the second rule or we can say that the assumption for method is we have to take a section at last span of the beam so let us understand this point by the two example as if we have given these two types of beam then the last span it means if we select a origin at the left hand side then the last span is which is at the end of the beam or we can say that the end span of the given beam. So our section must be in this span while for this type of overhang beam our last span is in between the simply supported. So over here our section is in between these two supports. We have given a symmetric beam which is loaded symmetrically or we can say that at the L by 2, L by 2 distance the loading is similar then we have to select a section just before the symmetricity. It means that rather than taking in the last span we have to select a section which must be less than L by 2 or the just before the symmetricity. So a section is in between simply supported to this section of symmetricity. Now the third point is the unit of the load and distance must be in kilo newton and meter throughout the calculation. Assume the moment as sectional left hand side clockwise while sectional right hand side anticlockwise as a positive and vice versa. It means if sectional left hand side anticlockwise and sectional right hand side clockwise which is treated as a negative. Section must cut the UDL of the given beam if loaded. It means if we have given a simply supported span having the span as a AB and UDL is between C to B that according to rule section is at extreme left hand side and at the last span of the beam. So here from origin if we take the section in last span then it cuts the UDL but if we have given a UDL in between A to C and if we select a origin at location A then the section is in the last span or we can say that in the C to B span which does not cut the UDL of the given beam. This so in case what we have to do 
up to the section from the location C, we have to increase same amount of loading as well as decrease same amount of increased loading between C to the section and we have to analyze this section for the Macaulay's method. Now the next point is The quantity in the calculation as a x minus a must be integrated as a x minus a whole square by 2. For example, if we have to integrate the value as a 30 x minus 3 whole square, then this value is integrated. It means the integration of this value in the calculation must be written as 30 into now x minus 3 square as a x minus 3 whole cube by 2. 3 not as x square by 2 minus ax so actually it is integrated as a x square by 2 minus ax for x minus a but we have to integrate the wall term as a point x and we have to integrating it as a x minus 3 n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 as x minus a is treated as a 1 constant During the calculation, if x minus a value is less than 0, then we have to ignore wall term. It means that, for example, we have to put x minus 4.8 square in which if we put the x equal to 2 meter. So, actually it is 2 minus 4.8 square as a minus 2 and this value is positive. But here x minus 4.8 is less than 0 so we have to ignore wall term due to the rule and we have to take it as a 0 integration constant in the calculation of Cooley's method c1 and c2 is to be calculated by the boundary condition. So, now, these are the total assumptions made by the Macaulay's method. Now, C1 and C2 according to the 8th rule, we have to calculate this constant using the boundary condition. So, let us discuss about the boundary condition of different different beam. Now, simplest understanding of boundary condition is to restrict something and we know that at hinge support, we restrict a horizontal and vertical displacement. For roller support, we always restrict perpendicular displacement and for fixed support, we restrict horizontal, vertical and rotation. So, these are the assumption for any analysis of the structural element. Now, according to the restriction, we can say that at hinge support, our displacement or we can say that the deflection is 0. At the roller support, perpendicular displacement, it means the vertical deflection is 0. While for the fixed beam, horizontal, vertical and rotation, it means slope and deflection both are zero. So, let us understand this boundary condition for taking different example as if we have given a overhang beam as So, on in the figure in which if we take the extreme left as a origin and the section in between these two simply supported beam, then for using this boundary condition, we know that at hinge support, our deflection is 0. At roller support, our deflection is 0. 
we have to locate this point with respect to origin so from the origin our hinge support is at 1 meter so we can say that at distance 1 meter our deflection is 0 similarly for this roller support it is at 1 plus 2 it means 3 meter from the origin so we can say that at x equal to 3 meter our y equal to 0 let us take one another example as For continuous beam, if we select a origin at extreme left and distance is assumed as shown in the figure, then from origin the first support is at 1 meter and all the support is assumed as a hinge and last support as a fix. So our first condition is x equal to 1 meter, y equal to 0. Now for the second hinge support our distance from the origin is 1 plus 3 so the boundary condition must be x equal to 4 meter y equal to 0 now third hinge support is at 1 plus 3 plus 4 it means at 8 meter from the origin so our boundary condition is x equal to 8 meter our deflection is 0 and now fourth support is fixed support at the end of this path which is at 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3 as a 11 meter. So, at fixed support, it means at 11 meter, our deflection is 0 as well as our slope is also 0. So, this given beam, there are 5 possible boundary condition is occur if we take a origin at the extreme left. So, by this assumption as well as the boundary condition, we can analyze any beam for the calculation of slope and deflection at different location and calculate the constant of integration using boundary condition. Thank you.